So this is the new Airfix 1 to 48 scale to have on Chipmunk T10. Um, it's a brand new tool. Um, it's going to probably be a really popular kit. Um, a lot of people like myself uh, who were in the Air Cadets when we were younger. This is the aircraft that we flew in in the uh, 70s, 80s, probably earlier than that as well. Um, so this kit has been released this week and I, which I pre-ordered. This is the first time I've pre-ordered a kit from Airfix and uh, it has arrived today and I'm not going to sort of go through and show you the model number and all that sort of thing like a lot of sort of these videos do. I just want to quickly show you what's in the kit um, and for those interested uh, you get one flying hour for the FX Clubbish unit and there's four different schemes. Um, I'll be doing scheme A which is the traditional RAF trainer scheme which I'm really looking forward to but I am probably going to buy this kit again and do the second scheme as well which was the first chipmunk that the RAF had so like I said this is a completely new tool um, being announced earlier this year uh, decor sheet that comes with it seems to be normal sort of airfix quality decors now um, the scheme aircraft here the common ones there uh, look like good quality decors hopefully if they're like most airfix ones that I've used recently there shouldn't be any trouble at all um, and then you've got your standard ethics instructions now. Um, pretty standard red and black uh, colour scheme. Um, fairly straightforward, very easy to follow. And obviously, as you can see, there's going to be different um, options, uh, four different options. So it's, it's clearly calling out where you need to make changes for different schemes that you're going to do. Um, but yeah, it looks quite a detailed set of instructions. And it is actually nice to see this aircraft being available as a model in this scale because I did build a 1 to 72 FX uh, chipmunk. It's a very, very old kit. Uh, it's not a very nice kit, but it's it's tiny. It's really difficult to, uh, if, you, if you've got larger hands and if your eyesight's packing up a bit like mine is, it's not the easiest to sort of plastic to work with, but this is a much better skill for this aircraft. And as you can see with this one, you can build the actual engine, which I believe was called the Gypsy Moth, is that right? Gypsy Major, sorry, Gypsy Major, I think it was called. Um, and uh, yeah, you can present it with the cowlands open so you can display the engine, which is pretty cool. I think I'll probably do that. Um, but like I see these are bog standard airfix instructions now. Um, quite clear, quite easy to follow. Um, and then you've got your different schemes at the back. So you've got your traditional RAF trainer scheme, three three tone black, white, grey. Um, you've got two versions of that one's for the Navy, I believe, yeah, the Royal Navy. Um, then you've got this one, which was the first chipmunk that the RAF took in 1949, uh, which is looks like it's mainly a silver colour. Uh, so like I say, I'll probably end up buying the kit again to do that one. And then very unusual for a chipmunk, they've got a camouflage scheme, which is uh, the old army one. And then the screws themselves, they all come in one bag. So you've got the clear parts there. Now I have heard some people saying that the clear parts have been warped. Uh, when they've uh, when they've arrived, but like I say, this has only been out this week. This kit, um, I can't really see any warping, but I suppose we'll find out for sure when we actually start building the kit. But it looks like very clear plastic, very nice. And yeah, the main parts of the sprue here. So as you can see, the part of the engine scheme here that you can build. It looks quite detailed. Doesn't really appear to be much flash, which is good. All right, there's some nice detail on the wings. So the wings have actually got recessed panel lines, which is great, but they've also got the raised rivets as well, um, which is really nice detail that they've put on there, I think. Yeah, and they've got the raised rivets across here as well, which is part of the aircraft, and they've also I don't know if it can show up in the light here. There you can see it's got the, the sort of the effect of the skin over the frame of the of the wings, which is a nice deal. Uh, 
And then the third and final sprue is through the airframe fuselage, which again has got recessed panel lines and some of his riveting. Um, two pilots, but I never ever paint the pilots, I always do the, the aircraft without. Um, the Carolins for the engine, that will be, uh, and when I do it, it'll be open. Um, yeah, and it looks like quite nicely detailed. It looks like it's going to be a nice little kit to build, some nice detail inside. Let's go out in front of the camera, some nice detail inside of the cockpit. So yeah, it looks like it's a nice little kit. So looking forward to building this one. Um, it's not an expensive kit really, it's uh, 20 pounds, I think it's 19 99 um, from FX. Um, or I'm sure most suppliers or dealers will have them in now. Um, but yeah, this is just brand new out this week. So uh, I'm really looking forward to building this one. I might do a, a video build for this, uh, but really looking forward to doing it. Lots of memories. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button.